Hello, I'm Jody Wolfen. You're watching Expose. It is May 2nd, 2020, 11, 18 p.m. Birmingham. In topic, I finished up with the last one and saying that if you don't think all this is coming to pass um, right now, then you're lost. Well, I may should not have said you're lost, but you're not really on top of things because if you don't see the ser seriousness of where we are today and what's happening, what's going on, you are lost. I mean, you're lost somewhere here. You know, you got a few french fries short of a Happy Meal if you don't see what's going on. And like the Bible said, look at what's going on. There's your proof. There's your evidence. Put it together. Think about it. What other times in this entire Bible mentions the things that you're going to see that we're seeing today that come in the end of days that were in the end of days, then you need to be prepared for that. Look, you have a grace period right now. You have the window wide open. And it's free. Didn't cost a thing. Just John 3.16. The grace period. You're still in that grace period. Any moment. It could happen in the next minute. It may not happen for the next year or two, but it's going to happen, guys. Look, look at where we are. Look at what's going on. Look what Obama signed when he signed with the Pope and with the leaders of the UN, the, the UN Agenda 21. Agenda 21. Now, some of them say, well, now it's called Agenda 70 or Agenda 30. No, it's not. It's still Agenda 21. We are sitting on the steps of the New World Order right now, today. They have got this country and this world terrified where people that are okay to go to work, they're afraid to. They're afraid they're going to catch somebody's cooties and die. And if they believe that, then Matthew 24, 24 is fully in play for you right now. Even the very elect will be deceived if it were possible. Well, if you're believing this lie, you're being deceived. You're, you're, believing the propaganda and the brainwashing. And unfortunately, we have Fauci and his sidekick that has been lying to our president. But it's almost gotten to a point where our president It'd be difficult for him to say, look, Fauci's lying to you, so we need to make other plans. This is all ammunition against him. The only way we can recover from this is for this to happen, and this is my honest belief, for God to speak through our president and for our president such words of wisdom the people will see, wow, we were almost screwed. But now we see only God can do that. Only God. So we have either God is going to hear our prayers of the church, calling him day and night until we get an answer and how are we going to do that if we're not even there at church 
to pray at the house of God. When they even tell you, if you go to church, we're going to put you in jail. It's okay for Pelosi to go to Chinatown and rub elbows of every monkey on the street. But it's not okay for you to go to church and praise your God. It's okay to go anywhere in our country in the no-go zones where they have implemented Sharia law in Muslim-controlled areas that are actually Islamic. It's okay for them to continue their prayer five times a day in masses, and nobody has said a word to them. When have you heard anyone say, hey, look at them. They're praying together, and they're not six feet apart. But yet, let the church, the true church, they're praying to, to the ground. They're, they're praying to nothing. We pray to our God Almighty. Well, the good thing is there's a lot of people saved and will not stop praying, and I'm one of those. But if God sees, well, it's time, then I am prepared also to go home because if we entered into, and it's going to, the New World Order, the days of the Antichrist, in other words, the final seven years called the Tribulation, the second we enter into that, everyone here, everyone left behind, their life will change overnight. In a single night, their life will change. You got all these people out here that are buying homes. And you can't have it home no more unless you own it. You've got to come live where we tell you to live because you're going to work for us because we own all these businesses that we forced you out of to go home and sit on your butt and let somebody feed you. And you fell for it, so we own you now. That's the only way that they can get you is lie to you. And the biggest thing is to believe in these friggin' lies, just like Matthew 24, 24 tells us. Don't do that. They're lies. And if you fall for it, you're being deceived. And yet millions, millions in our country, they're falling for it. The country that supposedly have more Christians than any other they're falling for the lies. They're being deceived. And they're going to lose it all. But the church is going to go home regardless what anyone else will do, how anyone else choose to live their life, whether they want to stay inside and stay hid. One day, the food stops coming the checks will stop coming. One day you have to venture outdoors and do a thing called work. Except there's no businesses open except those that are government controlled and owned. Yes, that's where you're going to work. There's nothing else available. In other words, you work for the government. They own your home. If they choose to let somebody else live there and bring you into a small 300 square foot apartment in downtown your state, there's nothing you can do about that. They got you. They own you now. But for the few that prayed, the few that Accept Christ and know where we are today, we will be escaping this mess. And people said, you, all you do is believe in that you're going to escape. Yes, I believe I'm going to escape. I'm not going to enter into the final seven years. 
my God, my Jesus, my Lord, my Savior is going to come take me out of this before the Antichrist can be named. We may know who he is. I think he's this Macron guy in France. He may not be, but it's not been officially announced, but he sure wants to be. Before his name will be announced and the people will know who the new leader of the new world order is, the church has to leave. So get ready to go home. Those of you who are saved and ready, those of you who are not, may God have mercy on your soul because the government will not. Jody Wolf exposed.